You know, I think we've been screwing around the harbor long enough. Why don't we get out to sea and go set some strings and start fishing? Let's see how you do. Head past the harbor buoy into the open sea. The plotter is where you plan your fishing strategy for the season. Click on it or press the P key to activate it. The plotter is one of the greatest tools on a crab boat. It can give you an overall picture of where your pots are laid out and all your strings. It'll tell you where you're at compared to all of your gear and how far these pots are spaced out. Plus it gives you different depths on the bottom as well. Plotter is really important to a crab fisherman. You can zoom in and out on the map by using the mouse wheel or the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. You can look around the map by holding down the right mouse button and moving the mouse, or by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try moving the map now. You can also use the controls on the side of the screen to navigate around the map. The display tabs control what kind of information is visible on the map at any time. Click on the survey checkbox to display the Department of Fish and Game survey. Every summer, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game conducts a survey on how many crab are actually out there for us to fish. It's a good idea to look at the survey to get an idea where to start. Just remember, the crab do tend to move around. Now that we have an idea of where the crabs are located, let's go ahead and plan where we'll drop our pots. A line of pots is called a string. Click the left mouse button anywhere on the map to start creating a string in the plotter. Good. Now move the mouse to where you would like your string to end and click the left mouse button again. Good. Now that you know how to create strings, let's go and place one where we'll be fishing. There seems to be good crab in this location. Make a string between the two glowing points indicated on the plotter. Now that you know where you'll be dropping your gear, you need to get in position so you can start fishing. Using the left mouse button, click and drag your boat icon all the way to the location indicated on the map. This will set a waypoint for your ship's autopilot system. Now that a waypoint has been set, click on the fast time button. This will accelerate the flow of time and make your ship travel quickly towards the autopilot waypoint. Good. You now know how to plan strings in the plotter and travel quickly between locations. Click on the exit button on the screen or press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the plotter. At any given time, the crew can be in any of four modes. Rest, set pots, retrieve pots, and chip ice. The crew is currently in rest mode. Click on the set pots button to have them prepare a pot to drop. As soon as the crew is in set pots mode, they will start working to get a pot ready to launch. Navigate your boat close to the drop position. The drop position is only an indication of where you planned your lines in the plotter. You can choose to drop your pot anywhere you want. Get close to the first drop position and wait for the crew to be ready to drop the pot.
The crew is ready to drop the pot. Click on the buzzer or press the space bar to give them the launch order. Congratulations! You've just set your first pot. That was right on the spot. Now go to the next drop location to set the second pot. The drop positions appear in white on your radar. The pot you have already dropped show up in red. Drop the next pot at the second location. Remember to ring the buzzer to instruct the crew to drop the pot when they're ready. This is the USCG Melon. We have located the life raft. Diver is in the water. This is the USCG Melon. All four crew members are inside the life raft. They are dehydrated, but appear to be otherwise okay. Thank God. One more crew beat the Bering Sea. Well, it sounds like everything went okay with that rescue operation. It just makes you start to wonder, you know, if uh, it's ever going to happen to you the next go around. And it does keep a guy on edge, and it does weigh in the back of your mind at times. But for right now, we're here to fish, and that's what we want to do. You can click on the deck camera screen at any time to check on the crew. The deck cam gives you a clear view of your crew, allowing you to check if they are ready to drop the pot. Click on the exit button to return to cabin view. Good. Go set the last pot to complete your string. Great, you have completed your first string. The red bar next to each fisherman's picture represents the current energy level of the crew member. The yellow bar is his morale. The longer your crew members work without resting, the more tired they get. Tired crew members are more prone to injuries or to causing accidents, so it is important to let your crew rest when you have a chance. Put the crew back in rest mode for the time being to give them a chance to rest. Now that your string is set, you need to let it soak for a while. Open the plotter again to access the fast time mode. If no waypoint is set for your boat, activating the fast time mode will simply make time go by really fast without moving your ship. We'll give this string a 24 hour soak time. Click on the clock shows the current date and time. Stay in fast time until the pots have soaked long enough. Coast Guard Kodiak, Alaska communication station. A distress beacon has been detected by satellite. Efforts to contact the vessel by radio have failed. To all boats in the area, keep a sharp lookout for signs of distress. Assist if possible. This is U.S. Coast Guard Kodiak, Alaska communication station. Out. You know, there's a boat nearby our area that's in need of assistance right now. I say we get over there and help this guy out. The search icon on the plotter indicates the rough area of the missing boat. Set a waypoint at the location of the glowing dot on the map. Activate fast time again to travel to the search and rescue area. Good. You're now in position to start searching for the missing boat. Exit the plotter and keep your eyes peeled for any signs of the boat. It's a bit dark in the cabin at this time of night. Click on the switch to turn the lights on.
Now keep an eye out for that boat in distress. Remember that it's easier to spot things around you if you zoom the camera out. Captain, someone just fired a flare off to the east. We should go and check it out. Locate the missing boat by following the flare signals. The ship is not responding on the radio. Get close enough to it to be able to communicate with the crew. Hey there. It's really nice to see you guys. We've had a massive power surge. All our electronic is fried and we're dead in the water. Can you contact the Coast Guard for us? Well, if I knew it was those guys out here, I'd have let them drift around just a little bit longer. But I think we need to get a hold of the Coast Guard and see if we can't help them out. Click on the radio panel to activate the radio menu. menu displays all the entities that can be currently contacted. Click on the Coast Guard button. Select the We Found Them line, then click on the Send Message button. Roger that, Northwestern. You are the only other vessel in the area. Can you tow them back to harbor? Over. Click on the Exit button to close. It looks like this fishing trip is being cut short. Still, it's nice to know you were able to assist another ship. That string will have to wait.